Hello students, welcome to EPG Part Shala. We have learnt about different uh, categories of species and one of them was endangered species. In this module, we shall be discussing about endangered species of India. The learning objectives of this module are endangered plant species of India, endangered animal species of India, reasons for species become endangered and the factors affecting endangered species, international and national efforts to protect endangered species and national conservation plan. What is a endangered species? A plant or animal or microorganism that is in immediate risk of biological extinction is called as endangered species or threatened species. In other species, species which are about to be extinct, species which are native to a region and their population strength has reduced from 50 percent to 5 percent, such species are known as endangered species. Factors for this may be anthropogenic as well as natural. Let me come to the endangered plant species of India. There are over 15,000 species of flowering plants in India, which account for 6 percent of all plant species in the world. The combination of global warming and habitat destruction is the sole reason for the disappearance of many plants from earth's face. Shows some endangered species of plants in India. Let me take uh, some examples. Abutilon indicum that also called as uh, Indian mellow or Thuthi in Tamil. This is found in the state of Tamil Nadu and its status is rare now. Then uh, Acacia planifrons also called as umbrella tree. This is also found in the state of Tamil Nadu and the status of this plant is also rare. Then uh, Actino Daphne Lassoni, this is found in Kerala state and its status is also threatened. Then Assam Katkin U, this is found in Arunachal Pradesh and its status is also threatened. Then spider wart, this is found in Madhya Pradesh and status of this plant is also rare and endangered. Then uh, Jamikanda, this name is in Gujarati, this plant is found in the state of Gujarat, Rajasthan and Selset Islands and the status of this plant is also endangered. Then uh, Malabar lily found in the state of Tamil Nadu and its status is also threatened. Then Musli found in Tamil Nadu, Himachal Pradesh, the status of this plant is also rare and threatened. Then Ebony tree that is in Karnataka state and status is threatened. Then birds foot in uh, Gujarat state and uh, its status is also rare. Then uh, Nymphia tetragona that is endangered in Jammu and threatened in Kashmir. Then uh, Polygala irregularis, uh, the local uh, the English name is milkwort, its status is rare and found in Gujarat. Then Moa skeleton, fork fern, and whisk fern, these are the name of same plant. Uh, this is in Karnataka state and status is rare. Then uh, Terospermum reticulatum that is uh, Malurum or Melavurum that is in Karla, Kerala and its status is rare and then Tamil Nadu also its status is threatened. Dear students, I will suggest you please make a list of different plants which are threatened or which are rare or uh, which are endangered in your region and also try to find out the reasons that why they have become rare, endangered or threatened in that reasons. Let me discuss the reasons for species become endangered. In India, 
450 plant species have been identified as endangered species, 100 mammals and 150 birds are estimated to be endangered. India's biodiversity is threatened primarily due to habitat destruction, habitat uh, degradation and over exploitation of resources. The various factors which affect endangered species include human beings dispose waste indiscriminately in nature thereby polluting the air, land and water. These pollutants enter the food chain and accumulate in living creature resulting in their death. Over exploitation of natural resources and uh, poaching of wild animals also leads to their extinction. Climate change brought about by accumulation of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere is also one of the cause, causes. Climate change threatens organisms and ecosystem and they cannot adjust to the changing environmental condition that ultimately lead to their death and extinction. Let me give you one example of the vultures. In uh, northern India, if we talk 20 to 30 years back, vultures were very common in the outskirts of any village. But uh, and we all know they used to feed on the carcasses of the dead animals. But uh, people used oxytocin injections for the any uh, these uh, domestic animals uh, to increase the milk production and that all, and uh, that accumulated this medicine in their body and uh, when these vultures feeded on their dead body that led to toxic effects of this oxytocin etc oxytocin on the vultures and now vultures which were about 30 years back very common in the outskirts of the villages of northern indian states are at the verge of extinction are threatened or under the category of rare species. Now, let me come to the endangered animal species of India. India accounts for 7 to 8 percent of all recorded species including over 45,000 species of plants and 91,000 species of animals. India has 10 biogeographic zones and is home to 8.58 percent of the mammalian species documented so far with the corresponding figure for avian species being 13.66 percent, for reptiles 7.91 percent, for amphibians 4.66 percent, for fishes 11.72 percent and for plants 11.80 percent. With only about 2 percent of world's total land surface, India is known to have over 6.7 percent of the animal species that the world holds. Let me discuss various endangered species of animals of India one by one. We will be taking only a few examples because all examples or all animals cannot be covered in one module. The, uh, let me take one example of Bengal tiger. The Bengal tiger is the national animal of both India and Bangladesh. And uh, this uh, Bengal tiger is found in uh, the Doba National Park, Ranthambor National Park, Sundarbans National Park, Sariska Tiger Reserve, Jim Corbett National Park, Bandhavgarh National Park and in several and at several other places. The second example is Asiatic Lion or Persian Lion or Indian Lion. It differs from the African Lion by less inflated auditory bully, a large tail tuft and a less developed many. This animal is found in the Gir Forest National Park that is in Gujarat. Then an, the snow leopard is a large cat native to the mountain ranges in Central and South Asia. Snow leopard have long thick fur and their base color varies from smoky gray to yellowish tan with the whitish under parts. It is uh, this animal found in Hemis National Park, Ladakh, Nanda Devi National Park, Uttarakhand, the Bang Wildlife Sanctuary, Arunachal Pradesh, Kiber Wildlife Sanctuary, Lahol Sapiti, Himachal Pradesh, then Pin Valley National Park, 
लाहौल स्पीति हिमाचल प्रदेश ग्रेट हिमालयन नेशनल पार्क कुल्लू हिमाचल प्रदेश देन ब्लैक बक द ब्लैक बक इज एन अंगुलेटेड स्पीसीज ऑफ एंटीलॉप एंड इट इज नियर थ्रेटन द मेन थ्रेट टू दिस स्पीसीज इज पोचिंग प्रिडेशन हैबिटेट डिस्ट्रक्शन ओवर ग्रेजिंग इन ब्रीडिंग एंड सेंचुरी विजिटर्स द नीलगिरी तहार इज एन अंगुलेट एंडेमिक टू द नीलगिरी हिल्स नीलगिरी तहार्स आर स्टॉकी गॉड्स विद शॉर्ट कोर्स फर एंड ए ब्रिस्टी मैने द कश्मीरी रेड स्टैग इज आल्सो नोन एज हांगुल इज ए क्रिटिकली एंडेंजर्ड स्पीसीज दिस डियर हैज ए लाइट रंप पैच विदाउट इंक्लूडिंग द टेल ईच ऑफ इट्स एंटीलर्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ फाइव टाइम्स दिस एनिमल इज फाउंड इन दाचीगाम नेशनल पार्क देन राजा पेरियन वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी ओवेरा अरू देन सिंध वैली एंड इन द फॉरेस्ट ऑफ किश्तवार एंड भादेरवा ऑल ऑफ विच आर पार्ट ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर लेट वी टेक फ्यू मोर एग्जाम्पल्स देन लायन टेल्ड मैकॉक द लायन टेल्ड मैकॉक इज एन ओल्ड वर्ल्ड मंकी एंडेमिक टू दी वेस्टर्न घाट्स ऑफ साउथ इंडिया इट्स आउटस्टैंडिंग करेक्टरिस्टिक्स इज द सिल्वर वाइट मैने विच सराउंड दी हैड फॉर्म्स द चिक्स डाउन टू चिन दिस एनिमल इज फाउंड इन साइलेंट वैली नेशनल पार्क केरला देन पपानासम पार्ट ऑफ द कलाकड टाइगर रिजर्व एंड समवेयर इन नॉर्दर्न वेस्टर्न घाट्स इन कर्नाटका देन इंडियन बाइसन ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज गौर इंडियन बाइसन इज द लार्जेस्ट एक्सटेंट बोवाइन नेटिव टू साउथ एशिया एंड साउथ ईस्ट एशिया द बाइसन्स आर हाईली थ्रेटन्ड बाय पोचिंग फॉर ट्रेड टू सप्लाई इंटरनेशनल मार्केट्स दिस एनिमल इज फाउंड इन तमिलनाडु एंड केरला This animal is found in Arignar Anna Geological Park Chennai and Chinnar Wildlife Sanctuary Kerala. Then one horned rhinoceros. The one horned rhinoceros is a large mammal found in Assam. Excessive hunting has reduced the number of this species. These rhinos are killed to saw off their horn which are sold at a very high value. Kajiranga National Park Dudhwa Tiger Reserve and Pobitora Wildlife Sanctuary are the places where this one horned rhinoceros is found. Let me have a look on the international and national efforts to protect endangered species. International efforts include Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species that is called as CITES. CITES is an international treaty to help protect endangered wildlife this treaty is now signed by 160 countries cites list 900 species that cannot be commercially traded as live specimens or wildlife products as they are in the range of extinction cites restrict trade of 2900 other species as they are endangered let we come to national efforts in india various organizations deal with the protection of endangered species of india and these organizations are a few to name wildlife protection society of india that is wpsi then uh, wildlife trust of india then uh, wildlife conservation society then wildlife institute of india wildlife conservation trust conservation india people for ethical treatment of animals peta then uh, nature conservation foundation then uh, center for wildlife studies then corbett foundation bombay natural history society dear student i'll suggest you these all these organizations which i have named here have their websites please visit their website try to find out where these are located what are their objectives what kind of projects presently they are doing as, as well as try to find out what is their logo and what is special about their logo you will find very interesting information about these 
organizations. Then uh, let me discuss some national conservation plans. For the conservation of various endangered species, several projects have been initiated in India as well as at international level. Let me discuss some of these projects. Project Tiger that is very well known project in India. Project Tiger is a scheme centrally sponsored by the Ministry of Environment, Forests and Climate Change. This scheme covers around 47 tiger reserves located across more than 17 regions populated with tigers. Project Tiger mainly focuses on conducting assessment of number of tigers, their habitat, hunting habits, etc. All these activities are sanctioned by the Tiger Task Force. Dear students, as I have mentioned, there are 47 tiger reserves. Please make a list and try to find out the number of tigers in each reserve and also try to find out that in past 10, 20 years whether this number has increased or whether this number has reduced and what are the reasons by which this number has decreased and what are the efforts made by this project that has resulted into increase in this number. Then project elephant. Project elephant was initiated by government of India in 1992 as a centrally sponsored scheme. The main objective of project elephant is to conserve elephants, their habitat, work for issues such as human elephant conflicts and look after the welfare of domestic elephants. The third project is uh, Indian Rhino Vision 2020. Indian Rhino Vision 2020 is an effort of pact made by the Bodoland Territorial Council, WWF, International Rhino Fund and the US Fish and Wildlife Service. The main objective of Indian Rhino Vision is to conserve at least 3000 greater one horn rhino in Assam, India by 2020. Then Government of India, UNDP, Sea Turtle Project. This project executed by Ministry of Environment along with Wildlife Institute of India, Dehradun. The Government of India, UNDP, Sea Turtle Project works to protect sea turtles. This project launched in 1999. This project carries out rigorous surveys along the coastal areas, checks the community and legal conservation, creates awareness, gathers information about main nesting areas and also provides training to fishery managers, researchers and biologists. Several laws and acts have been passed in India to protect the flora and fauna and uh, some of these acts are Indian Forest Act of 1927, Wildlife Protection Act 1972, Forest Conservation Act 1981, Environment Protection Act 1986, Biological Diversity Act 2002. The details of these acts you will study in paper number 13 of the environmental law. I, if you are interested to find out the more details of these laws, please visit paper number 13. So, to summarize this module, in this module we have learned that what are the endangered plant species of India, although we have discussed only a few. I will suggest you please you learn more and more about environmental plant species of India. Similarly, we have discussed a few endangered animal species of India. You please learn about more endangered animal species of India. Then we have learned the reasons for the species become endangered. We have found that there are four or five major reasons for the these wild species to be engendered. One, one major is one of them is habitat destruction then uh, is there poaching and uh, then no availability of food etc. Then we have also discussed about international and national efforts to protect endangered species and we have discussed four or five projects which are presently going on in India for the protection of endangered species. Thank you.